What it is, guys, it's your old boy Pilk, and I'm coming back at you with another Dokkan Battle video. Now, today, uh, we're talking about a little something that I still get questions on this all the time. And I understand, because it can get a little bit confusing. But uh, the Hidden Potential System, I've made like three videos on this already. And still to this day, people ask me, should I do crit or double attack? And I get it. It's confusing. We're not going to do arms today. What we're going to do is we're actually going to grab... Uh, we're gonna grab one of my Bulma units. I don't know why I was clicking up there. Maybe because it's super early in the morning and I haven't had my coffee. So what I'm gonna do then real quick is I'm gonna go ahead and pull my Peppy Gals team up because that's where she's chilling at. And I'm gonna show you basically the only situation that I can justifiably surmise you would put double attack into. 100%. So let's go ahead and uh, look at what she does here. So, we're not going to look at leader skill, we're going to look at super attack. Her super attack causes supreme damage to the enemy and recovers 88, uh, 8, yeah, 88, 88, 8,888 HP, okay? If we go into the details, let's look at her passive now, okay? Key plus 4 at the start of a turn, recover a uh, 8888 HP per rainbow sphere obtained. So, she's a really, really respectable healer. Now, notice she doesn't do any damage at all, and her heal is based on the number of attacks she puts out, not the amount of damage she puts out or receives. So, in that case, in that case, she is absolutely going to benefit zero from critical. Like, critical is completely out. In fact, on this unit, I would go 100% double attack and evasion. Uh, now being a Fizz, I don't remember what Fizz gets natively, and I'm sorry, I nicked the mic there. I don't remember what Fizz gets natively, so let's go ahead and put orbs in her and see. So, yes, Fizz is native double attack. That's absolutely perfect. I thought so, but I didn't want to open my mouth until I knew for certain. Because I remember all of them, but Fizz always, Fizz always is a question. Alright. So we're going to go double attack here. Anywhere where there is, like, a crit like that. We are gonna go. Uh, mult or we're gonna go evasion, okay? Because remember, she's her stats aren't the best, and you know she's not a unit you're gonna use every day anyway. But the last thing you want her to do is take unnecessary damage. So we're gonna go ahead, and I realize I unclicked that, and it won't click. And my eye itches. So let's just go ahead and fill her out. Now this over here, normally I do attack boost on this. I'm going to do defense boost. Or I'm sorry, a super attack boost, type attack boost. <laughs> it doesn't really matter what I do here. I'm just going to go ahead and do super attack boost like I always do. It's rare that I do uh, type attack boost, but I'm going to do defense boost on the other side. Just because reasons. Alright. For some reason, it is not reading half of my clicks. That's beautiful. There we go. Boom, boom, boom. There we go. I said there we go. Ah, screw it. It's easier to do this the old-fashioned way. All right. So we'll just scroll with that and click with the mouse. Seems like the best answer. Boom, 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 boom. So now down here, in the other side, I know people are probably losing their minds, but crit does this and crit does that. Yes, it does. But remember, it gives her absolutely nothing. Now right here is kind of that critical moment where you have to decide between all three. I'm going to go double attack only because, only because, uh, primarily what she does is going to benefit mostly from double attack. Now, hopefully she doesn't take an insane amount of damage. Uh, I'm not sure if I would honestly use her in Super Battle Road. She'd be worth trying out, but... You know, obviously aside from the Peppy Gals team. Peppy Gals team, absolutely. 100%. She's going to be an asset on that team. But... I'm like a Mono Fizz team or anything like that. I don't know what other team she would fit on, if I'm honest. But... Sh I don't know if I'd use her, if I'm completely frank, but... And then again, I am far from known as the SBR uh, uh, champion. Let's just put it that way. So, here we go. We just do not have it filled out. Now, over here, I almost always put 
almost always put recovery boost. I'm not going to do it this time. I'm going to do defense type boost. But wait, recovery boost would give you X, Y, or Z. Yes, it absolutely would. But the goal with her is to obtain rainbow orbs, and it would give her a much bigger boost. So for me, that's the rare and extremely rare situation where I think it's it's appropriate to go ahead and go uh, uh, type attack or type defense boost. All right. So now she's 100%. Probably not the best 100% unit that I've got by a long shot, but she's definitely going to work. And that right there, ladies and gentlemen, is the extraordinarily rare situation where double attack would benefit. Okay? Now, uh, the other unit that I think I 100%ed was Strength is a Masu just recently. Let's see if we can grab him real quick. Uh, and I'll show you the difference between what she does and what he does. So remember, she gets defense like for, ev for every rainbow orb. She gets defense for every single attack. I'm sorry, not defense. She gets healing for every orb and for every single attack that she puts off. That said, uh, where's Zamasu? There he is. So Zamasu's ready to rainbow now. Zamasu by, uh, by difference here. Supreme damage to the enemy and lowers defense. So... Lowering the fence twice isn't always the, the worst thing, but it's not as useful. And if I go in here, he's got attack 50% and recover 7% HP whenever HP is 80% or below. So he'll only do that recovery, like, basically when your health is down, but it's not based on the number of attacks he does. Therefore, double attack is only going to do this guy so much good. If I'm honest, dodge is going to do him way more. So in this unit... I'm going to go mostly crit and dodge. That's just the best thing I can do for him. So hopefully this little quick video kind of shows you where you should be aiming. So remember, the biggest thing about, about crit, crit has a multiplier attached to his final calculation. So when you do a critical attack, you're going to do more damage for the more points you have in crit. But some units, as we saw, like with Bulma, have absolutely no benefit. <laughs> Pardon me. No benefit, none whatsoever, to uh, critical attack. Like, if I put crit in her, it would be entirely wasted. She needs double attack to survive. So, I hope this helps clarify that a little bit more. I know, once again, I've made a ton of videos on this, but I've been... I was working on her hidden potential, and I happened to realize, I'm like, oh, you know, this unit right here, she would be absolutely perfect for double attack. And so I said, maybe I'll make this video real quick. Granted, that was about three days ago, and I wasted my time doing an LR, <laughs> an LR video every single day that hasn't worked out yet. So apologies, apologies for the, the limited number of Dragon Ball videos, but that is kind of where we sit with these units so that's going to be the video guys let me know what you think in the comments section down below like comment share subscribe i will be back with more dragon ball for you uh i've got a really nice one coming out for you this afternoon so stay tuned for that and uh hit the little subscribe button and notification bell to be uh notified when it happens because it's going to be hype that video is awesome i really look forward to seeing that one come out